everyone. I'm going to do a flip for it, flip through of this uh, junk journal I made for a swap in junk journal junkies. This was called a magpie journal and it's based on the theme that magpies collect any and everything. It doesn't really have to have or be anything of consequence. And so uh, it was supposed to be um, two signatures and uh, this one measures uh, four by eight inches. Um, it is made with um, a hard cover covered with fabric. It's pretty chunky. I tried to not get it so chunky, but mm, I don't know. It just turns out that way sometimes. And then lace to cover the spine and a little bit of um, decoration here. The closure is elastic closure, and this is a vintage button uh, that I held on with another button here on the inside. So let's go in and take a look at this journal. Um, here in the first signature, we start off with this little pocket made out of a vintage uh, piece of music. And it's got some little bits and bobs as we call them, of ephemera and um, tags. Uh, here is some uh, cards that Leanne sent me. Thank you, Leanne. And an envelope with uh, some uh, other things in it. And the next page, um, I put this little pocket on here that's got it's clear right here. It's hard to see those things in there, but there are butterflies and birds in there and glitter and so forth. Try to make that have some texture and be interesting. Here is a, a playing card uh, that is held on by this little embellishment right here. It's got a little bird uh, on a little stand there. Uh, this page is just a piece of map with some bingo, wooden bingo buttons attached. Here is a tuck spot that I made out of a yarn wrapper, and it's got some um, cards in it. It's got a, a recipe card, a tag, some playing cards. I seem to have a lot of playing cards in my stash, so I wanted to share them. Uh, this is coffee dyed paper with some embellishments, so paper flowers on them. And as we flip through, we'll see um, some... Um, some more paper dyed or coffee dyed paper and some stamping. This is a, a card that someone made me and I can't recall who it was but I'm sharing it in this journal. Here is a uh, an altered paper clip. It's just a paper clip with some pretty fabric on the edge there. We were told to put um, things like poems and recipes and just anything that uh, we have collected over the years. This was a in an, a very old piece of uh, newspaper clipping uh, from some vintage ephemera that I had. It's the legend of the dogwood tree. Um, and here is uh, some vintage paper that I found uh, at a yard sale, I think, and it belonged to a, a young boy who was in school uh, maybe in the early 40s, uh, so it's in there. Uh, here is just um, a card to write on. I also included in this journal, uh, made these little tags out of a vintage, a vintage tape measure. And so I thought that was unique. Uh, some of those things that I collect here is another altered paper clip. Uh, and on the other side of that page is a vintage um, postcard. Uh, this is postcard from Odessa, Delaware. Here's some vintage music sheets that have been coffee dyed, uh, bringing us to the center of the first signature where I have put in a... Um, a bookmark, a beaded bookmark. Also made little tuck spots here um, out of uh, some flowered paper and a uh, butterfly. Attach some gold trim, more of that vintage paper and coffee dyed sheets. Uh, here's some washi tape that looks like old stamps. Um, 
Here is a vintage ticket to the Howdy Doody show. It came out of a little game that I found somewhere. This is a vintage stamp. Here is another poem. Uh, here is some more vintage paper. This is a joke uh, that uh, uh, we, all, we used to find in the paper a lot. We don't read the paper all that much anymore. Here is a tuck spot uh, on this sheet on both sides made with a doily and a cupcake liner. Bringing us to the end of the first signature. The second signature, uh, one of the ways that I put in these signatures is that I used an elastic here that uh, goes through the back, goes over and then back in. And then I bound the signature right here with a paper clip. And then it's actually removable. You can move, you can take out that whole signature if you want to, uh, like a, I guess a traveler's notebook would come out. Both of those signatures are held in that way. Uh, beginning the second signature, here's a, a piece of uh, decorative paper uh, with a bird on it, um, making me think of a magpie looking for something to collect, uh, and decorated with some vintage lace and that little piece of alphabet there. I just love that image of that little pup there. I believe it's a French bulldog, maybe. Here is a vintage um, ticket for dry cleaning. Pretty old. I don't know how old it is. Kind of yellow. Another one of those tags uh, up there or bookmarks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, here is a little image that came out of a McDonald's Happy Meal, which I thought was so cute. Um, and here is a repair ticket, some stamps, uh, a little paper clip with a bird on it. This little pocket is from a bag that I've put in the signature and has some goodies in it, uh, some tea, uh, a cardboard embellishment there. Also, um, some vintage postcards. Uh, I think these are from Germany somewhere. It's got the word down there or the name of the place. I'm not familiar with all of them, but I thought I'd put that in there. Also, that bag has been decorated with just some stuff you know you collect. This little uh, bow clip is on there and also this little, um, this little pin here. Continuing on, we've still got more of that vintage paper, and this is just, uh, I guess you could use it as a tuck spot, or just a piece of lace, and I decorated the top of the page, and here's another altar paper clip, uh, and here's an envelope I made out of, I guess, some cartoon paper, and it's got some ephemera in it. More of the vintage paper there, some stamping, a ledger sheet, a uh, vintage stamp, uh, another altered paper clip. And here is the center, as you see, of uh, the journal, or this a signature of the journal. And uh, how I joined that together is I just tied that button in there, which adds a little interest to uh, the, the center there. Uh, also, here I made a, a pocket out of an envelope, uh, and it's got some ephemera in it, some playing cards, uh, a paint chip. Uh, this little tag I made out of a vintage envelope. Um, let me see. Can't really see the date on that, but it's got a two cent United States stamp, which took a letter, so that's pretty old. Uh, but anyway, it's got some vintage ephemera in that little uh, tuck spot there, a little pocket that I made for it. On this page is just a clip that I found in a drawer. Some of the things that I have collected over the year. It's kind of like a paper clip, actually. I guess it's a bookmark. Um, and some here's some ephemera. And this is a, a cup uh, cozy. I don't know if that's a cozy, but it's one of those things that you get when you get a fancy cup of coffee that goes on the outside of the cup. Also a ledger sheet. This is a vintage, I guess, ledger sheet or order blank sheet. Um, and here I put in another cartoon. This is from a vintage image that I had in my stash. Here is some more playing cards and some other things that I've just collected. I made this a little tuck spot out of a, a cotton um, ecru um, yarn or string or uh, that you crochet with, the, the fine stuff, and I taped on there also this domino. Uh, here's a page that I 
put this pretty little girl on. She's been in my stash for quite a while. I don't even remember when I got her or where she came from, but I thought she would decorate that page so beautifully. So there she is. Here's another vintage stamp on some vintage paper uh, that talks about the invention of the telephone. Uh, here's the other side of that. The other side of that bag actually is a Bojangles bag and some things that are in there. There are uh, tea, tea, a tea bag, um, some ephemera, and this vintage uh, photograph uh, that I found somewhere that I thought was really cute. And I believe there's a journaling card in there as well. Also some more uh, ephemera clipped on with this unique little clip there. Uh, same on this side. Here we're getting to the end of the signature. You can see this washi tape, but there's a reason for it there. It's holding on this little um, co um, container of uh, dried flowers that I made a few weeks ago. This came from my garden, and I don't know if it'll hold up very long, but I thought it would add some texture to the book and just something to enjoy at least for a little while. Uh, this is a Black Eyed Susan that was in my garden and on this side was a miniature rose that was also in my garden so it's been pressed down there. We finish up here with this last page. You got some uh, decorated with some lace and I decided that since it's a magpie journal, I wanted to make a stash place for the magpie. And so I made this little uh, pocket here. I gave the pocket a gusset so it'll be thick enough to put a good number of things in. So you see how it's made there with the fold. I sort of made that idea up. Um, don't, don't have a pattern for it, but I might make one. But anyway, I, I close it with this little Velcro so you can get in this little stash. And in there are all kinds of little goodies that I'm not going to pull everything out. But whoever gets this journal will be able to go through that magpie stash and see what kinds of things the magpie has uh, kept. So that brings us to the end of the magpie uh, theme junk journal. And I hope that you've enjoyed that little flip through and it wasn't too long for you. Um, so you have a most blessed day. Uh, take care. Thank you for watching.